holiday camp on the south coast in the middle of winter. What could bring anybody out here other than sci-fi? <laughs> These are the scenes at the SFX Weekender, gathering of sci-fi fans. We're in attendance too. Try and find out a little bit more about what excites them, and maybe what makes them tick. I feel like conventions are a kind of a magical place. I was at the very first Star Trek convention on Earth back in 1978, and I what? had my pointed ears, and I had my tricorder, and uh, Everyone gathered around me and told me that I had good point here and that my tricorder looked just like the TV show. Is it a supportive community, do yeah, you think? very much. So that two months later, I lost my virginity because I had the confidence. So, to all the guys out there, your tricorders are brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's Bob Blowfish. What's he from? Torchwood. Ah, right. So he's been around all the sets of Doc 2 recently and Matt Smith. He's got his own Facebook page and now he's here. He's had his photos with Tom Baker, Liz Sladen. Well, there's no shortage of hijinks at the SFX Weekender, but there's no shortage of bonhomie neither. Even the lightsaber fights are politely conducted. We were only sparring. Some of the guys involved in the duel were kind enough to invite us back to their chalet. We had a long chat and ended up discussing why it's a great time to be a geek. There's more programmes with a sci-fi fantasy element coming onto television these days, so people feel much more capable of going, I, go, I actually enjoyed that without, without facing ridicule, which yeah. is in the old days. Yeah. I, mean, I was in the comics and sci-fi when I was at school, and if you mentioned it, you were in the playground getting beaten up. You know? I was amazed, because I'm an electrician and I work with building sites, a lot of big lads all into the rugby and football, and when I mentioned I was coming here, they were all for it. They were. I was really? surprised. I didn't know whether you know. Could have yeah. not told them. Quite <laughs> <laughs> yeah. snuck off. A lot of them still love Star Wars. Yeah. You know, they yeah. brought up with that, yeah. and so it's made it more popular. I mean, and, and then their kids will like it, and that's why it's growing. Yeah. Generations build up. Uh, the, getting into it as well. Yeah. I'm not really that into it, I've just come along for the laugh. Um, You've been surprised how many girls are out here? Yeah, massively. Yeah. I thought it would just be completely populated by geeky boys and 40 year olds that live at home with mum. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that way at all. <laughs> not really. Just chilling with the monsters backstage, VIP. Loads of stuff going on in there, loads of signings, panels, people buying stuff, getting stuff signed. Not a signing appears to be a very common ingredient. But what surprised me while I've been here is the sheer breadth of people. Uh, you've got your, you've got your sci-fi, Star Wars, Star Trek, of course Doctor Who, but you've also got fantasy, uh, you've got horror, lots of vampires, uh, computer games, and your comic books. It's a much broader church than I thought. What do all these things have in common? Well, fantasy, obviously. But it seems to be an, an interest um, in the things that exist beyond the real world. Now, is that uh, kind of a little bit trying to escape from the humdrum realities of your daily existence, maybe. I don't think it's a, we hope it's gonna come true. I think it's just, you've got to be open-minded that these things could potentially in the future be a reality. And it's all about investigating your own head and trying to kind of open your mind up to new ideas and new cultures. A lot of science fiction is, it's not really about, oh, that person's a vampire or scary. It's more embracing different cultures. It's clear from spending a weekend with them that sci-fi fans spend time thinking about what it is that animates them and makes them passionate about the programmes they love. But perhaps for the final conclusion on the matter, we should turn to the master. Oh, sorry, I meant the fourth doctor. The thing is about science fantasy. It may be analogous to say, born-again Christianity. By that I mean there is no theology, there is no physics, there are no laws. It's just a wonderful feeling. You can do anything you want. You can disappear, you can change into something else. So the fans of science fantasy enjoy that, like the born-again Christian. It makes them happy, and they can believe in they can all rules have gone. And when there are no rules have gone in the tumult of their imagination, they can respond to old Tom Baker being a benevolent <laughs> alien. <laughs>